In this problem, we're told that Laura owes $18,000 on her student loans, the interest rate on the bank loan is 2.5%, and the interest rate on the federal loan is 6.9%, and the total amount of interest she paid last year was $1,066. We're asked what was the principal for each loan. So let's let B equal the principal for the bank loan, F equal the principal for the federal loan, and we know the total amount is $18,000. Now the rate for her bank loan is 2.5%, which is 0 0.025. On the federal loan, it's 6.9%, 0 0.069. We're told the interest she paid for a year, so our time is one year. And the total amount of interest she paid last year was 1,066. And the interest using interest equals principal times rate times time. So principal B times the rate of 0 0.025 times one year is 0 0.025B. And similarly for the federal loan, it's 0.069F. And now we can set up our system of equations. We know that the total of the two principles is $18,000. So B plus F equals 18,000 and we know the rate times the principal for the bank loan plus the rate times the principal for the federal loan is going to equal the total interest which is 1,066 Now we could solve uh, this through elimination or substitution. I'm going to go ahead and use substitution. If we solve our first equation for B, we get B equals negative F plus 18,000. So substituting that into our second equation, we have 0 0.025 times B, which is negative F plus 18,000 plus 0 0.069F equals 1,066. Distributing the 0 0.025, we end up with negative 0 0.025F plus 18,000 times our 0 0.025, which is 450, plus 0 0.069F equals 1,066. Subtract 450 from both sides, and combine like terms, and we end up with negative 0.025 plus 0.069F is 0.044F and then the 1066 minus the 450 is 616 dividing both sides by 0.044 we get F equals 14,000. As always, the next step is substitute what we solve for. F equals 14,000. So in our first equation, B plus F equals 18,000. That means B plus 14,000 equals 18,000. 
Subtract 14,000 from both sides, and we get B equals 4,000. Now let's use our second equation as well. We have 0.025B plus 0.069F equals 1,066. So substituting, we solve for F. F equals 14,000. So 0.025B plus 0 0.069 times 14,000 equals 1,066. 0 0.025B plus 14,000 times our 6.9% is 966. Subtract 966 from both sides and we get 0 0.025B equals 100. And then dividing both sides by 0 0.025, we get B equals 4,000 again. So it, before we check, we have found that the principal for the federal loan was $14,000. Write that a little bit clearer. $14,000. And the principal for the bank loan was $4,000. Now we're going to verify by checking <coughs> in both of our equations. So B plus F equals 18,000. So we want to know does B is 4,000 plus 14,000. Does that equal 18,000? And indeed it does. 18,000 equals 18,000. And then in our second equation, 0 0.025 times 4,000 plus 0 0.069 times 14,000. We want to know does that equal 1,066? Well, 4,000 times 2.5% is 100. And 14,000 times 6.9% is 966. And when we add those together, it does equal 1,000. 66. So it checks in both of our equations and we can say that the principal for the federal loan was $14,000 and the principal for the bank loan was $4,000.